Welcome back to Ultimate Skyrim, my friends. This is Season 1, Episode 99. And uh, last we left off, we had a terrible day with Hjolfred. We got our ass whooped by Dwarven Sphere, the same one, again. We got our ass whooped by Double Dragons and had to run away from it. Um, and what we're going to be doing in this episode, I have a couple plans, but the first thing that I would like to do for this episode, you guys have successfully convinced me in the community, I'm going to go back and grab that Daedric Warhammer of Flames, or whatever the hell it was, on that Dremorous corpse, um, because I really want it, and uh, I don't know. Um, apparently the Daedric armor was cursed, so I'm glad I didn't pick that stuff up, because it would have killed me outright. Um, but I would like to get a Daedric Warhammer, because, honestly, I think if we had a Daedric Warhammer, we might actually have a fighting chance against dragons. Daedric weapons are very powerful in terms of damage output. I actually, when I was designing, quote-unquote, Ultimate Skyrim, um, a couple of my test sessions were, uh... Uh, me fighting against dragons using all different kinds of weapons just to see kind of like what was possible. And um, you can actually, you can melee dragons, you can fight them in melee and be successful. You need pretty tremendous damage output. Having some really good armor rating also helps quite a bit. Um, and you absolutely, absolutely need a couple perks in block. Oh shit, here we go. Well, there they are. I was afraid this would happen. Also, you might notice that now the music is back on. Um, anyway, but just to finish up my other thought before I get tangentially sidetracked, as I have a tendency to do, you guys should be a little bit more scared here. Um, the, uh, you can fight dragons in melee, you just have to be able to block, you have to have a lot of potions to keep yourself, um, energized and, uh, your health up. But it, it is possible, you can do it. Anyway, um, you'll notice that the music is back on right now, just because I kind of wanted to turn it on for a bit, because I really actually love the music in Skyrim. Oh. Got a lag spots. There it goes. My problem with the music is that I don't like, and I know many other people agree with me or disagree with me on this. I don't like the way that the music clues you into enemies um, that you haven't seen yet. Well, it looks like they've kind of passed right by us. That's pretty cool. If you know what I mean, how you'll suddenly hear combat music before you see a threat, and that kind of clues you in to the fact that there is a, a threat afoot. Um, let's see, the drummer should be around here. Um, I don't like that very much. It's the same reason why I leave the health bars off. Uh, but I found a mod, actually you guys in the community pointed me towards a mod that might be a suitable fix for this problem. It's kind of a different set of parameters that will trigger or determine when music triggers to prevent you from kind of that sort of enemy clairvoyance. So I'm really excited to try that out. I figured in the meantime, why not just throw on some music because it's wonderful. Because the two composer brothers, Jeremy and Julian Soul, are the tops and uh it makes some really cool stuff also this guy seems fairly casual for what's going on over yonder but i suppose i am too so whatever where is this dremor is he not here there's other corpses here like that wolf and that giant back there that we saw ever so but there he is i know where exactly did i kill him i don't really remember specifically um i know it was somewhere in this ballpark right maybe over here I'm kind of afraid that I'm going to aggro these dragons again. I really would like to not do that. Um, oh, shit, my tent is still here. Well, that's something I can go ahead and grab real fast. You guys also don't seem particularly phased, or maybe they are. It's hard to tell, to be honest. Oh, shit, what's happening over there? Oh, my God. Is that an enemy mage? Oh, I don't want to be standing next to you guys. Holy crap, that's exactly why. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Okay, um... Give me my bedroll. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna find this Dremora. Oh no, that's not my horse. That's a different horse. I didn't mean to steal that one. That's my bad. Where's my horse? Get off. Get off the horse. Thank you. Oh shit. Horse, horse. No, not Exmoor Pony. This guy. That's what I'm talking about. Is that Exmoor Pony really following me? That should not be claimable. I'm running. Get me the hell out of here. Uh, also, are those hunters attacking me now? I think that, no, the X more pony is just running. Or wait, is he following me? No, they're just running. Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit, holy shit balls! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, what is happening here? Oh my god, oh my god, holy crap. Holy Jesus balls. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Sorry, I need to revisit my brain here and oh, calm down. Holy shit, dude. That was fucking crazy. Oh, okay. I'm just going to keep running because apparently that mage made quick work of our friends. Wait, did I not do this before? I thought I already got Immaculate Mending. 
What? Maybe not. I don't remember. Whatever. I'm going to hold off on it. Um, oh, I'm getting... I'm running. Jesus Christ, dude. Um, let's call my horse. What do you mean I need a horse to do that? Did that kill my horse? Oh! They killed my horse. You gotta be fucking joking me. Okay, I'm running. And there's dragons. And oh my god, I hope to god the dragons don't see me. Because if so, I'm just fucking done for. Holy shit! Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys. That's fucking it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. That's the thing. That's the game. It seems like, where's dead is dead? Is that the little message box gonna pop up? I guess not. What the heck? Oh, I don't even... Oh my god. That's fucking it. That's it. Hilford is dead. I can't believe it. That's absolutely fucking insane. I mean, I guess it's really not, given <laughs> how dangerous that situation was. But like, Jesus Christ, what a terrible... Man, it was the writing was on the wall, to be honest. It looks like it's gonna load the old save. I wonder why that is. It's okay, I've swapped Dead is Dead in and out. Just I'm using the same installation that I use the guides for and everything, so this thing's pretty bastardized at this point. Oh my god, I can't believe our 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 hero and savior, she's actually officially done. Let's see if it loads. It's taking a while to load. Maybe it will actually uh load her back in or it'll just get caught up and that's like dead is dead working. I don't even know. Nope, it loaded. Well, I mean, either way, our character's done. Holy shit, man. I can't believe it. It's like a new world that I'm living in. Let's go ahead and say our final goodbyes. Here, let's get this helmet off. Final goodbyes to our girl, Hilfred. Um, honestly, I don't really have the time today to do um, that end slate thing. I don't really think it matters all that much. But um, this we can do. Let's take off our helmet. And say goodbye to our fair lady. It's like, Hilfred, you have been a wonderful first character for ultimate skyrim so to speak um you've been through a lot she's been through a lot of situations where i thought she should have died so i don't know it's like our luck had to run out eventually you know what i mean and it seems like it has what are you shifty eyed looking out over it's like hilfred you will live on in our memories forever along with the <laughs> half dozen followers who you got killed over the course of your adventure um it looks like the world's gonna end that's a problem but what are you gonna do? Sometimes that's the nature of the beast. And it seems I'm looking at my timer right here. We're only about eight minutes into this episode. So I think I'm gonna switch over to Armon for the time being. And uh, it, that's just gonna have to be how it goes. So thank you very much, Hilfred, for your service. Um, you will live on in our hearts. And uh, hopefully we'll see you, we will see you in another life. I'll see you guys over on Armand. Welcome back, my friends, to the rest of Ultimate Skyrim. We are back on Armand after our fair lady. Uh, ooh. Oh, it must be the menus that I added from... Oh, I added... I should talk about this now since I didn't really talk about it on Hilfred. Um, forever, may she rest in peace. Um, I added a couple mods to the lineup, some very simple stuff. Um, basically, these two mods, one called Stealth Meter Tweak that makes it... Um, one of the things I've always looked for is a visual indicator of whether or not I'm sneaking that also doesn't give away if I'm detected because I don't like knowing if I'm detected or not by enemies. I like kind of inferring that based on my own kind of observations and stuff. Um, so I found a really awesome mod. Actually, you guys suggested it to me. So thank you very much for that suggestion. Um, it's very cool. It allows you to do exactly that. It basically, you can adjust the sneak eye so that it just shows when you are sneaking but does not actively show if someone detects you. The other mod is dual wheel pairing, which is obviously a very famous mod used it myself in the past, but somehow it just kind of slipped my mind for the configuration. But I've tossed that in there as well, so that if you are a dual wielder, you will still be able to block, which is one of the fundamental skills to surviving in Requiem. So with that said, I suppose let's go ahead and uh, gather our followers up and continue our adventure as Armand, where we were heading back towards Markar to continue our, um, what could you call it, mercantile adventure, perhaps. Get Take a nice bath so that my... Um, what's it called? My hygiene is better and I'll get better prices on some things. Um, listen to that tavern music. So nice. So sweet. I would say, Mark, everybody, let's go ahead and group follow. 
Vorstog. Um, ooh, no, no, no. Hello, lady. Oh, uh, she wants me to gather her crops for her, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not just a pleb. Although Armon is a bit of a softy, so I could totally, totally see him doing something like that just to help out. Um, I'm not gonna steal anything here. Ooh, gold ingot. I would like that though. And a shrine of Zenithar, huh? Isn't that my my deity? Is that what I have up right now? Um, 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 blessing of Zenithar, I do. Fortify spell magnitude. Fortify weapon damage. Nice. Anyway, let's uh let's get moving. What do you guys think? Oh my god, I still can't believe that Hjolfred is dead. It's like living in a whole new world now. I guess that does free us up for a, another character. Maybe it's good because season one is kind of coming to a close here, and she's really been with us for quite a while. What great example of like a first dead is dead character who I honestly cannot believe lasted um, as many times or as long as she did. I thought for sure she was gonna die. Uh, in the triple dragon fight in Whiterun, that was a nightmare, but somehow we persisted through that, just kind of holding on to the, or what's the expression, riding on the coattails of everyone there in Whiterun. Um, that was really fun. I thought she was going to die when we fought the Pale Lady in that one dungeon. Um, I forget what it was called. Uh, that There were a couple times, even with some minor stuff like traps, where I thought she was going to die. Um, and still, somehow, she just kind of kept on kicking, you know? Um but I guess such is the nature of the beast. And eventually her luck had to run out. It's unfortunate, but it's the, oh. it's just how it had to be. Oh my God. It's like, I wonder if everyone's just super drunk and hung over after the festival last night. In any case, I might actually take this carriage. Hey, what's up guy? Dorlam? Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Carjo, chill out. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to, whoa. No, I don't want to go to any of those places. I want to go to, um, Oh, I guess we're riding through to Markarth, just like regular plebs. Where's my horse? Is it Winnie? Is Winnie my horse on Armand? I can't even remember. Oh, but can we just go ahead and here? I'm going to have the horses follow me. I really like this view. Wait, is that a sunset? No, it almost looks like a sunset. I guess it's a sunrise. Hello. Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. There's a few coins in it. Uh, I'm okay. Um, ooh. We got some some intrigue. Armand's always looking to dip his hands into some stuff, right? Let's talk about this guy's personal problems before we go on to Markarth. Because, ah, geez, take it. That's very rude of you, Horace. What is that, Duber? Um, I could dig around in Dragon Bridge for a while. I like this area. Sounds like you're having some trouble with your wife, whore gear. Her name's Olda. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. I think there's a chunk of ice where her heart ought to be. Yikes. Um, <laughs> oh, that, that's just it? Is That's not a... There's no quest or anything? You just want to tell me about how much of a bitch your wife is? I want to hear her side of the story. Where's, uh, where's... Was it Olda? How about we go find her before we leave this place? Um, let's see. Is your lumber selling better since the war started? Damn right it has. The man's never been so high. At least not since I built the new mill. That's pretty cool. What do you have for sale, my friend? Take a look. This is immersive. Oh, wait, you don't say firewood and a woodcutter's axe. Who would have thought? All right, well, this is what I want to look at. I want to look at this beautiful view. This is more or less this beautiful view. Um, I don't like those that distant reflection. I think it's because I turned off um, Reflect Sky in the um, any settings, thanks to Beth any Bethany, uh, which is a really fun utility if you guys haven't used it for yourself, but I think I'm going to turn that back on. That looks pretty, though. Real pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I do love it. Wonderful. Anyway, um, let's do a little bit of poking around in Dragon Bridge. Ah, I'm stuck. Ah, I'm stuck. Ah, come on. There we go. There. What? Oh my God, this is a nightmare. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, fine. I'll just do this then. Ugh. Thank God for consoles. Console commands, rather. Although, I guess if you were on a console, like a Xbox or a PlayStation, you could just load up your old save. It's always good to have autosaves on when you're playing a game like Skyrim. Especially when you have 300 or so mods installed. That's always a good policy. Oh, boy. Look at this nice, bustling little town. Hello. I've oh, yeah? You. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your Tight. Only. What is it? Let's see. Ah, a letter, letter from the Jarl. Didn't I already get one of those, or was that on Hilfred? Congratulations. Wait, what's this? It has been brought to your attention. Oh, yeah, we read that. Blah, 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 blah. It's just talking about how we can do this. Yep, letter from Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. A boom, baby. Speak to the Jarl of Falkreath. 
He's going to have me kill some bandits and whatever. Fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you're interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. Oh. Yeah, maybe. That guy's an asshole, but whatever. You know, he can still be useful. Oh, excuse me. I got a spell toe. I don't want to use that. Um, restoration might be cool to have. Muffle's a particularly cool spell, but it does have an upkeep cost. In any case, we're going to hold on to those. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to sell in Markarth to make some money. Most of which is, um, that, uh... Oh, he, is he the guard? Or is he... I don't know. He's just using this little building himself? Get out of my way. Sorry, sorry. You're just in my way. You guys should know better. You know I hate that. Um, ooh. Nice chop, boy. Where's that lady? Ooh, this is a pretty horse. Hello. I'm not going to steal you, but you are pretty. Oh, got goats. Oh, little baby goat. Wow. Is it just me or is his head like way too big for the rest of him? Oh, no. I don't know. Who knows? Super cute, though. Hey, guy. Tassius Tragus. Boom. All right, everyone. Let's get out of their way. Maxine. That's my my horse. That's right. I wish I could go backwards. All right, everyone go ahead and mount up and we got places to be. We've dilly dallied enough, I'd say. What do you think, guys? Who's going to be riding what? Carjo, Carjo, you still look like a dink with that helmet on, but that's okay. All right, boys. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Oh, I should probably drink um, and get some food and such. Did I distribute the food in their inventories? If I didn't do that, that's very mean of me. I'm going to take some apple cabbage stew. Let's see. Mark it. Yeah, okay, I did. I gave him a bunch of stuff. All right, sweet. I'm going to eat a little bit more. I'm going to eat a gourd, a whole gourd. On horseback. Check it out. Whole border banners. So awesome. You can see like which hor uh, horde hold you're going into on the borders. I look a rabbit. How about I... Wait, do I have a weapon equipped? What is my number one? There we go. It's my crossbow. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Let's go ahead. And we already cleared out that bandit camp. So we don't have to worry about getting choked up um, in that area. Hopefully. That would be nice. Um, I don't know if I could handle two character deaths in one day that for sure would be something i just roll with it though you know because shit happens oh wait here we go maybe we can take this carriage at the way station let's go ahead and pop down right here and talk to this guy alfarin i'd like to hire your carriage my friend uh i would like to go to oh you don't go any of the ways that i'm going winterhold windhelm white run morthal dawnstar no one's going to markarth huh maybe they don't want to travel through the reach because of the reachman I could see that. Hey, Kibble. My carriage is oh, yeah, where are you going? Where you I'd like to go to Markarth. There we go. That's where I'm going. Hey, it's only 100 gold, too. Sit back and enjoy All right. Ride. Oh, God. Here we go. Quickly, I think. There it goes. Oh. Wonky. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I know. Well, that's where we're going. Isn't this cool that you can, like, kind of look in first person? It's like, oh, um, the horses are just going to be following us. Where is, um, where's Vorstog? Is he, does he have to hoof it? Let me zoom out here and see what's going on. Yeah, it just looks like the three of us. Um, I guess Vorstog will have to kind of do on his own. Oh, he is. He's just running along. Oh, my God. Are you watching this? I guess they're just perfectly okay with that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. Wouldn't wander here alone at night. Folk are missing around children depths. Cave just over those oh really wow it's so crazy how they have so much ambient dialogue um oops sorry i just smacked my microphone i think that's really cool i mean obviously touring carriages can be a little bit wonky um like with we just bounced around those um imperial officers ask for it's pretty nice weather now that you now that you mention it um but i don't know it, like when it works it really works you know i feel like it adds a lot like i think this is so cool just kind of sitting in the carriage nice weather for a ride and just listening to them. And you can always just skip ahead, like Grand Theft Auto style. Going straight through, or did you want to stop... I would like to go straight through. Oh, look, and you can stop at Carthways. It's so cool. I love it. I mean, you could argue that um, other uh, travel mods, like the other one's really good is Complete Fast Travel Overhaul. I really do love that mod as well. Um, I just think this one's a better fit for the overall package. Um, whoa! Whoa! Speaking of which, look at this wonkiness. I think we just got attacked by a saber cat. So what I'm gonna do... Holy shit! It's like, um... Wow, uh... Wake me up when we arrive! <laughs> That's absolutely insane. I don't know, maybe CFTO would be worth potentially swapping in just for the wonkiness of this one. But it is so cool when you can do it automatically. There it goes. 
Jesus Christ, what a day. What a day. I almost titled the last episode Hilfred and the No Good, Very Bad Day or whatever that long subtitle was for that one dumb kids movie that came out, but it feels like it fit pretty well. Maybe I'll title this episode that because Hilfred actually died. That's pretty fucked up, man. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sleepy. My sleep schedule has been strange the past week or so. I'm still getting everything set up with moving, as you guys can imagine. Oh, look, we arrived safe and sound, more or less, although I've got a big lag chug. What is happening? There we go. What's up, everybody? Look, we're here. And we drank a, We can drink a little bit of water. In fact, actually, let's go fill up our water skins since we're out here. Whoa. Zoom way out. Hey, everybody. Where is... Is it just me and them two, or is Vorstog, like, catching up? Let's see where he's at. Give me that boy. Leader's teleportation. Boom, baby. And I'm gonna fill up these waters. What do you mean there's no sources of water nearby? I'm standing in one. There has to be a source of water nearby. Why am I doing that with my hands? That's BS, mate. There's definitely a source of water nearby. I know there is. I'm standing in it. Do I need to go into the water? Maybe it's not clean water or something? I know there are a couple water sources for which that's the case in Skyrim. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if I go over here. Give me that water. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, uh, look at you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you not to follow me. You're so, uh, what's the word? Loyal, I suppose you could say. Horses, oh, oh. let's go. Come on up. Oh, it's so loud. All right, well, um, that's cool. Let's go ahead and make our way into Markarth. Look at this stable boy. Just hanging out. What's up, guys? Come on over, and then we are going to pause you or tell you to wait so that you don't get all caught up. You guys go ahead and wait right there. Four horses we have in our crew. It's quite a lot. Hello. Oh. Whoa. She's got some interesting armor. You guys are wearing chitin. That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe they just got decked out recently. Interesting. Interesting. Why? They're all wearing chitin. I need to check them with the console. That's unusual. What if I reset your inventory? What are you going to do? Yeah, there it goes. How strange. Wait, but that seems not correct either. Huh. Maybe, I mean, I could be drawing from like a repository. I don't know. It doesn't bother me at all. I think it's kind of cool. Although I don't remember making that change, so I don't know why that would be. But uh, maybe it would be worth checking out. I don't know. Whatever, bro. Oh, can I stop yawning today? So, here's what we want to do. I want to go buy the, um, uh, the inn. Or not buy it, but I want to invest in the inn. So that way we can rest there, hopefully for a discount. I don't know if that'll work, but it would be cool. And uh, also, we are going to check on our other establishment to see how they're doing. Look, it's all the Markarth city guards. A woman oh. Attacked right on the streets. Hello. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Um, yeah, I, w I was right there. He almost killed me. Hope the aid give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Okay, El Trace. Is this your note? No. Do you know anything about the attack? I had one too many pints of meat at the Silver Blood Inn. So have you just been waiting here for me to like pop up so you could ask me about this, or what's your deal? I'm gonna check around some other guards. Look at Markarth City Guard. Um, hmm, let's see here. Let's find one wandering around. There's one. Let's see, I wonder why you guys are all wearing these. Dudley! Um, I am gonna go ahead and make a note of this. Hold on, let me make a note of this for my own thingy here. Markarth City Guard, 000AC9CA. Hey, that's almost like a... Oh, it is a palindrome. AC9CA? I'm gonna check on that. You be careful. You tell me what to do. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go in here. Let's go ahead and check on our establishment. See how it's doing. See if we made any sort of money. Or we can uh, see how our employees are faring and if they're learning anything and becoming better at their jobs. That would be nice. Let's see. Excuse me, Carjo. Get out of my fucking face, dude. Hello. Y yes. Employee. Until next. Are you nervous? Ooh, employee is something. Oh, nope. Yep, employee is something I need to ch add to the real names repository. Let's talk about you. 
I understand. Okay, let's see. Learning ability, 0 0.02 a day. Current production capability, negative three symptoms a day. Ah, pfft, that's bad. Let's train you a little. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. I don't like your voice either. Ah, 136? Nah, I'm gonna let you go, I think. I'm sorry, we don't need your services. You're, you're not good. Um, who else is working for us? Lady, who did you hire? You guys, do I need to really micromanage your hiring process as well, or can I just count on you to like not be a dink? I just checked the shipments. Oh yeah, that's fine. Sorting the dry goods. Okay, let me talk to our mercenary at the very least. Hey, Miss Lady. No, we're definitely holding on to Ani Sabiri. Definitely holding on to some mercenaries. Don't want to get robbed or anything, especially with all the nonsense that's going around with the Forsworn. And let's see here. Uh... The store has seen better days. Anyway, let's see. Can we talk about our business? Um, I come to take my share. Yeah, let's Food do that. Solves most problems, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Whoa! Hey, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, 800, blah, 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 846. I will take that. Hell yeah, seeing some return. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, I think we should hire a new employee to help us. So. Yeah. Okay. So are we going to... I guess we're going to do that. All right, Lisbeth, please take your time with the hiring process this time. Don't hire any scrubs like last time. I'm counting on you. Um, I don't. I can't really replace you since you're a co-owner, but I'd really like to not have to deal with that again. So let's go ahead and pop over. Now, the cool thing is that we've already paid the uh, treasury upstairs or up the street um, to collect our gold for us, uh, which is really nice. Um, it's just we don't really need to as of right now. Because I th have we already paid them to do that? It's 2,000 septums. I think it's a one-time fee. Uh, if we haven't already paid them to do that, we can pay them to do that. Uh, but if right now, if we only have or, um, establishments that are in Markarth, it's not really necessary because it's obviously pretty, pretty simple for us to just, to just stop by and collect it ourselves. Oh yeah, Klepper? I know that's your name. Please come a little bit closer so I can speak with you. Here we go. That's fine. I'll speak with you over here. This is the hey, guy. Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. I would like to throw in with the Silver Bloods then. Um, can we talk about your business? I would like to invest. Not my problem. Not your problem? Of course. Does that mean there's someone else I need to speak to? Do I not have the... I have plenty of gold. Is cheaper than blood in Maybe there's someone else I'm supposed to speak with. Maybe this lady? Unlike my Frabby? Clever, I watch after our guests. Okay, well, can we talk about your business? I'd like to invest. My problem. What the fuck? Maybe we can't invest in this place. Maybe the Silver Blood Inn, or the Silver Bloods are not looking for any more. It's a mercenary you're looking for. You found him. There's no strong nah. for hire in all Skyrim. Nah, you're not even wearing a shirt. Skyrim alone. Hey, guy. Um, who do I speak with then? Maybe you? Father Klepper is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. Okay, Hrain. I don't know, it kind of looks like uh, maybe they're not interested in investing. If I can't get you something... Or investors. I, I, not, my not your problem, huh? I don't know. Looks like we're not investing here. What's the monthly events? Harvest End. Yeah, we just did that one, I think, the other day. Um, let's exit. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it was just yesterday. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and pop back out. Fine. I will, I'll take my money elsewhere then. If you don't want my money, then I'll find someone who does. No problem. Um, what would be another... Oh, you know what would be cool to invest in? Is like an apothecary. Um, an apothecary would be nice for... Uh, Freaking... Um, like, you know, having potions and stuff. Because we need lots of potions in our travels. Now, where is the apothecary in... Oh, sorry. In... Markarth. Somewhere over yonder, maybe on the other side. I'm going to check my local map in a second here to see what we got. Um, I know there's some stuff on the other side, too. Let's check my local map. Let's see Abandoned House, and in Nepos, Vlindral Hall, Ogman, Silver Blood Inn, Guard Tower, The Warrens, Shrine of Talos, Treasury House, nothing so far. Gotta go on the other side. Oh, man, what a downpour it is today. Yikes. Let's check our wetness rating. Our exposure is doing pretty good, have to say. Uh, we're getting a little bit wet. Uh, that's all right. Not the end of the world. Why is it loading from that direction? I'm going to go mod configuration. I want... Where's Frostfall? Frostfall this way. Whoops. I'm going Frostfall. And I'm going 
meters and wetness meter go from the left. Yeah, there we go. Let's fix that. There, now it's all nice parity between all the different meters, so to speak. Um, uh, speaking of which, so I've already added a couple mods since the videos that I released. Oh, God. Right? Um, and uh, I'm beginning to question the format, the video format for the MCMs and keeping them updated. Um, I might just go ahead and bypass that video and the instruction and just create image, like, album repositories for the MCM settings. That way I can easily update them if I change the settings or I add new mods and stuff. Um, but that'll be a project for a later point. I've got some stuff I kind of got to take care of this week first. Kind of keep that in mind. Oh my god, we're getting towards the end of the episode. Okay, well I want to see if I can find a different house to um, invest in. I'm going to check and see... Kelsey, yeah, it's the Hall of the Dead, Mark Arthur, and the Hag's Cure. That's what I'm looking for, directly behind me. Wait, right? Where is it at? There's a Hag's Cure. It's over that way. That's what I'm looking for. I knew there was one over here somewhere. Ah, that's, it looks like this, so you can tell. We'll go, we'll invest in this shop, and then we'll call it an episode. Pretty eventful episode, if I do say so myself. Um, I can't believe fucking Hilfred is dead, man. Ooh, this place is pretty. Hello, Miss Lady. The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. Ooh, what do you mean? Can we talk about your business? Of course. I'd like to invest. A little coin always greases the wheels. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Investments, making money, I love it. All right, well, thank you guys very much for uh, humoring me in this episode and being with me on this day of days. I hope that you had a good time hanging out and I will go ahead and see you in the next one. Big episode 100. Um, thank you really so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.